In this short video, we're going to show you how to set up groups in STAD Pro Connect Edition. When working with structural models, it is sometimes helpful to cluster a set of entities under a single umbrella for ease of handling the data associated with those entities. These clusters are referred to as groups in STAD Pro, and they can save a lot of time when assigning attributes to members of the structure. Let's go ahead and get started. In our ribbon toolbar, we're now going to select the Utilities tab and click on the Groups icon. Now groups can be assigned to a collection of nodes, members, or plates within your model. And we're going to go ahead and create several different groups for our Beam members. I'm going to first start by entering my first group name, which will be girders. I need to make sure that I assign it to a type of beam, which means I can assign beams to that particular group. If I had selected the wrong type and then I'm trying to assign beams to say a nodes group, I would not be quite successful. So once I enter all the information for my first group, I'll go ahead and click OK, which will then bring up the Create Groups dialog. And from here, I can create as many groups as I need to for my particular model. So I'll go ahead and click on the Create option again. I'm going to create a group for my beams. My columns and also my braces. Now, once I create all the groups that I'm going to want, you're going to notice that the groups have been created, uh, but they're currently unassigned. So what I need to do is take it to the next step and assign, you know, a cluster of different members within each one of these groups. So let's go ahead and start with my girders group. Now, you're going to notice all of your typical assignment methods are now available here. So I'm going to highlight the group and then select the members I want to associate with this group. So up in my ribbon toolbar, I'm going to go to my select tab. And this will give me all my different selection options. Now, my girders in this particular model happen to be parallel to my global X axis. So I'm going to find my beam tools. I'm going to find my parallel tool. And let's go ahead and say parallel to X. And then that will bring up those particular members. My assignment method is set to assign to selected geometry. And we'll go ahead and click the associate button. It's going to basically grab all the highlighted members and assign them to the group. Now, members can be assigned to more than one group, and you may use them depending upon what you want to assign to them. So we're going to select our next group, which is our beams. I'm going to come here, unselect everything, and I'm going to select all my members parallel to my global z-axis now. And I'm going to repeat this process for the rest of the members in my model. For my vertical braces, for me, it's just going to be con more convenient to just hold down my control key and use my beams cursor to select the members. And then finally, I come to my last group. These will be all my horizontal braces. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my horizontal braces. Now, for this particular model, these happen to be all the members that are not already assigned to another group. So within my Select tab in my Ribbon Toolbar, I'm going to find a Select by Group Name. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now what's convenient is I don't need to close this dialog to work in another one. I can keep everything open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my Control key and grab all the groups I've already created. Now I know that everything that's turned off right now happens to belong to the Horizontal Braces group. So I can go up to my Beam Tools and I could just say, Select by inverse. That'll turn off everything that I've already selected and turn off, turn on everything that I haven't selected. So I'm going to again say associated to selected geometry and then click associate. Now, if I go to say assign a particular property, I can go ahead and highlight my properties and I can select by group. So again, to do that, we're going to go to the select tab in the ribbon toolbar. We're going to find this group option, and here you can see you can select different groups within your model. You can turn them all on and off depending upon what you're assigning.
This might make it easier for, say, assigning the same section property to a group of members, assigning the same specifications such as member end fixity to a group of members, and so on. This type of group arrangement can also be assigned to plates in your model and also nodes, depending upon what will make it convenient. Now, this is an optional uh, step in your workflow, but it may make um, some property assignment easier, especially if you have large or complex models. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.